Hello guys, it's Aida here and today I want to invite you to join our uh, September challenge at Nomadic Soul Diaries on Instagram. For my inspiration this month, I have chosen to make a double canvas or a small double layout or canvas as you call it. And uh, I have started with stamping. So I have stamped uh, a head and a hand from the Tim Holtz set and now I'm using stitches as stitches are uh, the obligatory uh, element on this challenge. So I have stamped some stitches on my canvas and then I'm also making a background, a stamping background, but you don't have to be really precise with the stamping because it's only our first layer and at the end you will only see a little bit here and there on this layer. So use stamps, uh, the, the, the stamps you like the most and be just random about it, don't be really uh, too fussy about it, just make first layer. I have chosen my photo, half of a photo actually, for this inspiration uh, because I want it to be a little bit weird, <laughs> as the challenge says. goal here was to uh, to receive a really nice texture and uh, it's actually a little bit random texture as you can see I'm only working with palette knife or spatula so you can choose whatever you like to make your texture uh, and for great texture I'm using a modeling paste and gel medium this is my first layer I wanted to have some white and transparent background and then you can mix in some colors. You can mix in some rainbow color, it's a watercolor in powder, but it's a little bit grainy, so when you mix it with modeling paste, you will get a nice texture. Uh, if you mix it with water, as you can see, you will get a really nice color. You can just pour the, the powder on top of your canvas and add some water from spray, or you can mix it with water first and apply with uh, with the paintbrush, which is um, the way to have more control. But I like this a uh, little bit the messy, um, messy effect about the rainbow colors. So I mostly work uh, with the powder and water on top. Um, when uh, the first layer is dry, remember to dry um, your canvas between layers as yellow and orange tend to mix and give you not really nice brown color. Sometimes it's nice, but sometimes it's not. Here it's okay because a brown color, copper color is allowed in this challenge. So I don't mind when they mix in a few areas. But if you want to avoid this brown color, please make sure your uh, canvas is dried between each layer. So as you can see, the technique is not really difficult. You basically play with colors and texture. You add more color, more water, then you dry. And if you like it, it's okay. If you don't like it, you can add more color and just repeat the process as long as you're happy with the result. At the end, I'm just um, sticking the head and the hand. And I also use a transparency from the newest collection, Sunrise. I used a butterfly and I also sticked it with gel medium. Uh, to make a nice uh, contrast for my background. Uh, to finish off, I have uh, just added a title, a creativity, um, takes courage, and as the very last step, I have added some uh, wire. If you want, when your uh, background is dry, you can add a little bit of white just so here and there to uh, make your texture even more visible. Thank you very much for watching, uh, please like, share, subscribe and thank you for your support, see you next time, bye bye!